Hi, welcome to Paranormal Captivity. If you are in San Jose, California, you should definitely check out the Winchester Mystery House, which is one of my favorite stories ever and a place that I really, truly want to visit at some point in my life because it seems amazing. This house is also known as the Spirit House and from 1884 all the way up until 1922, it was under constant, complete, around the clock, 24-7 construction. The reason being, Sarah Winchester was married to the owner of the Winchester Repeating Arms Company. They lived in Boston, and when her husband died, she inherited a lot of money. More than 20 and a half million dollars. That's like 1800s money. That's a crazy amount of money for nowadays scale. This gave her approximately a daily income of a thousand dollars a day, which in 2013 that was equivalent of 23 thousand dollars a day as her budget. Sometime after her husband's death, a Boston medium talked to her and told her that she needed to leave her home in New Haven and move out west, purchase land, and begin construction of a house for herself and for all of the spirits ever killed by a Winchester gun. Feeling that this was the only way to appease the spirits that were around her and angry with her, she moved out west and bought some land. She found a partially finished farmhouse and just started construction. This house kept going from a partially constructed little farmhouse all the way up until it was a giant mansion with some areas of the house being seven stories high. She never used a planner or an architect. Instead what she did was she did what she felt the spirits wanted. She built doors and stairs to nowhere. She had terrible arthritis so she had stairways that went up all seven stories with the stairs only being two inches high so that she could walk up and down them easily. There were columns intentionally placed upside down, some think to confuse some of the spirits or to make sure that they knew different areas of the house better than others. She even had windows looking into internal rooms of the house. Everything that she did, she did to appease the spirits in one way or another. The home was built on a floating foundation, which thankfully saved a good portion of the house whenever there was a giant earthquake in 1906. Now the 1906 earthquake did take down some of the taller areas of the house, so now it is four stories across all over. A big portion of the house, like a whole wing, also was walled off after that happened. There are approximately 160 rooms, 40 of which are bedrooms, two ballrooms that have supposedly never held a ball, 47 fireplaces, three elevators. Sarah had very expensive taste, so she had gold and crystal and expensive glass, chandeliers and art. She had a Tiffany window created that was supposed to make rainbow colors shoot across your floor when light sh shone through it. But she put it on one of the insides of one of the rooms that's not an external room, so it never actually got to shine the light of the sun through it. She had a fascination with spider webs and the number 13 and had spiritual significance to both of those. So you'll see that as a repeating theme throughout the house and the grounds. When she did decorate the house, one thing that is kind of peculiar is she only allowed three mirrors to be hung in the house because she felt that if they were to look at their own reflection, it would make them vanish. She also felt that the ghosts were ashamed of the fact that they couldn't cast a shadow and therefore there needed to be an extreme amount of light so that there were no shadows in the house. So there were tons of light fixtures, candlelight, lots of different light sources so that there were no shadows to upset the spirits. Most of her evenings were spent in her seance room. It was her favorite room in the house and she spent every night in it. She had 13 hooks on the wall of the seance room, which supposedly held 13 different color robes that she used whenever she would communicate with spirits. At the time of her death, they ended up having her only heir go through the house, take whatever she wanted, and the rest of it was auctioned off. The house itself was purchased for quite a lot less than what the house was built for, and was open to the public for tours pretty soon after that. It is still open for tours. They do all kinds. I will definitely put below the website. There are even tours that you can do digitally from your own home. So if you aren't able to travel, or if you have an issue where you wouldn't be able to actually explore the home, you'd be able to do that online as well. There's flashlight tours and all kinds of different things. They do special things for the different holidays throughout the year. It seems like kind of a creepy, magical place and I would love to visit it. So if any of you have ever been to the Winchester house, please tell me about it. If you plan on going, please share with me what you see and experience because it just seems like such an amazing place. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a wonderful rest of your day or night or week or whatever. And I will talk to you again very soon. I love you guys.